Hey everyone, Rick here from DxO Mark. Today's the day, so let's get into our take on Samsung's latest flagship device, including our first tested score and camera, as well as some thoughts from some of our experts on audio, battery, and display qualities of the devices. So here we go. Surprise, we have our first S22 score to release to you today. The Samsung S22 Ultra 5G featuring the Exynos chipset scores a total of 131 in our smartphone camera rankings with a score of 134 in photo, 114 in video, and 86 for zoom. For the complete test results and breakdown of the score, be sure to check in on our website for our full in-depth review of each device. By the way, did I mention that we just updated our website too? Well, yes we did. But now, back to the device. So with its quad camera setup, we have found that the S22 Ultra benefits from great exposure and color overall. And to us, the best camera system on a Samsung Galaxy to date. Though perhaps needing a tad more polish to make it into our top 10. This is a true camera upgrade, people. But here's a few highlights from our S22 Ultra testing. In night, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G represents a significant improvement on previously identified weak points in the area. For our testing, we found that the texture noise trade-off to be a bit better quality than that of the S21 Ultra. White balance is more neutral than that of the iPhone 13 Pro. And though the S22 Ultra is a top tier device, in our ranking, it doesn't quite make our top 10, as we can see here with the lower recorded noise levels on the iPhone 13 Pro. So in low night video, stabilization is very good and on point, noise is well controlled, and autofocus is reliable when you need it. It's one of the strongest features of the S22 Ultra, in fact. So you can depend on it for opening up possibilities in environments lacking the necessary lighting needed to get the subject's face in focus. The camera also performs quite well in very long range telephoto, as you can see here, with better detail than the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. And as we develop our testing protocol, we also realize that zoom video is something also important to you. And the S22 Ultra produces some interesting preliminary results. Definitely a feature we'll be keeping a close eye on. And know that we expect to put the device through each one of our additional protocols for testing. As we do so, let's check in quickly with some of our experts at our headquarters in Paris and hear about their hopes and expectations as further testing begins. First up, from our audio team. Well, uh, Samsung VC around did not put any audio specification on the announcement of the S22 uh, Ultra. So based on the pre-listening we did on the S22 Ultra, we can very confidently say that the playback performance uh, of the S22 Ultra is very close to the uh, S20 and S21 series uh, with an audio which is mostly free of artifacts but lacking a bit of, of bass, lacking a bit of uh, power compared to the uh, top uh, audio performers. Usually the performance of the Samsung uh, series is very decent overall with a very clear uh, audio recording performance and a very artifact free playback performance. So if uh, as a user, you want to record videos with uh, audio coming straight from the uh, smartphone, uh, it may be a very good choice for a clear audio. It's already the, the third iteration of Samsung phones where audio is not the priority. Uh, and we know users are expecting more in terms of audio from their smartphones. Uh, so let's hope that uh, next time we get a bit more uh, in terms of audio from Samsung. Now, let's hear from our battery department. Based on specs, so S22 and 22 Plus come up with smaller batteries, about 300 milliamp hour less than the previous series. So it's a good thing, but it might impact the autonomy. We hope that with the new Exynos 2200 chipset and the new Android 12, that will compensate the smaller batteries by giving a decent autonomy. We've got some improvement on camera and display as well especially for the S22 Ultra and the LTPO technology that could help save battery by adapting the screen refresh rate depending on what you are doing on your phone. And last but not least, the new 45 watt charger only for the S22 Plus and S22 Ultra that can improve the charging experience. If you want to buy the S22 for its beautiful screen, its powerful chipset, just keep in mind that it may affect battery. Let's also see what our group in display has to say about the device. So, based on spec, the S22 Ultra is very close to the S21 Ultra, actually. They have similar resolutions, similar panel technology, and they also both play the HDR10 Plus uh, videos. So right now, the main difference between the two devices would be the brightness claim, which is 1,715 nits for the S22 Ultra. So we've begun the test, 
and we've already some unexpected results in different environments such as under sunlight. So now if you're looking to buy an S22 Ultra, just know that it comes with a very wide and bright screen, very colorful, the latest display technology, and it also features a stylus. Um, now it could be the perfect device to watch your HDR shows. We can expect some interesting results from our teams and we'll make sure to keep you informed with the release of each score in display, audio and battery, as well as the score for the selfie front camera coming soon too. We're excited to see what else the S22 series has in store during our testing. Make sure to click on the logo here to follow us and don't forget to like the video. As always, you can check out the full rear camera reports on our freshly updated DxOMark.com. Peace.